All right, so the first problem we're going to look at says a sequence of figures is created with dots as shown. The pattern continues, how many dots will be in figure 10? And you might notice that this is the same sequence of figures that you looked at in warm up one. And in warm up one, you were asked to find figure five, so the next figure in this sequence. Um, and you might have noticed the pattern that it's um, triangular pattern of dots and then each one you're adding just another row to make that triangle a little bit bigger and you your next row that you add is just always one more than the previous row so what you might have done to find your figure five is draw out the next um, figure and it would look something like this and if you counted up those dots then you would have got 15 dots for your answer and that's a great way to do it. You can totally draw out the um, figures if you want, but as these problems start asking for larger figures, so how this one is asking for figure 10, it's going to become a little more tedious and tiresome to now draw figure 6 and then figure 7 and then figure 8 and then figure 9 and finally figure 10 to get to your answer. So we're going to try and find a shorter method to get to our answer here. So what I'm going to look at is, is, is there a numerical pattern we can establish that's going to make it easier to count without having to draw out these figures? So if you notice in counting figure one, we have one dot. And then we look at figure two, and if you counted that up, there's three dots. Figure three, six dots. Figure four, 10 dots. And then figure five, we said was 15 dots. But what are we doing to count these up and how are we getting these numbers? So figure one is just one. And then when we go on to draw figure two, we're adding another row. And that row, as we said earlier, has one more dot than the previous row. So in this one, we're taking one and we're adding two. For figure three, we're making another row. And this one is going to have one more dot than the last one. So now we're adding three. So it's one plus two plus three. Following this pattern for figure four, it's one plus two plus three plus four. And then figure five is one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So what we're doing is just adding um, consecutive integers together. Um, so we can use this without drawing out our pattern. We can figure out what figure 10 is. And figure 10 is going to be the sum of all the integers starting from 1 and going through 10. So it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if we add all of those up, you should get 55 dots. So now let's look at our second problem, which you might notice. Again, you have seen this pattern before. This was from warm up 2. And in warm up two, it asks you what the number of circles would be in figure four, which is the next one in this series. Um, but this one is asking for figure seven. So if you again drew out this pattern, you might have drawn something that looks like this. Um, and if you counted all of those circles up, you would have gotten 15 circles. But it's going to be kind of difficult to continue to draw these patterns, especially because these circles are starting to get pretty tiny and it's going to be a little difficult to even get them all in there, especially as we're getting out to figure seven. So let's do what we did at the last one and try and establish a pattern here. So the number of circles that we have in figure one is one. And then when we move to figure two, we have three. And then when we move to figure three, we have seven. So what is the method here? What are we, how we, can we count this up? So looking at figure one, again, it's just one. And then figure two, we're taking that larger circle and we're inscribing two circles inside of it. So we're adding two more circles. So it's just one plus two, all right? And then when we move on to figure three, we take the two smaller circles and we inscribe two smaller circles inside of each of them. So we're adding four more circles. Then when we move to figure four, we look at those four small circles and we draw two even smaller circles inside each of these, which gives us eight more circles. So we're adding one plus two plus four plus eight. So you might notice that this pattern, we are basically adding two more 
or two times the number that we previously added. So when we moved to figure two, we added two, which is two times one. And then when we moved to figure three, we added four, which is two times two. And we moved to figure four, we added eight, which is two times four. So it's just gonna be a continuous addition of uh, multiples of two or powers of two. Um, so to find figure seven, we would follow this pattern and add one plus two plus four plus eight plus 16, which is two times eight plus 32, which is two times 16 plus 64, which is two times 32. And we would find our final answer, which gives us 127 circles. And this is gonna be obviously a lot faster than had you drawn out figure seven and counted all 127 circles. So go ahead and try the next few problems and see if you can use the same method to establish some patterns and cal calculate them numerically.